All right guys, so we're gonna make some charcoal today with the uh, kiln. Um, this is uh, the kilns that we offer. Now, um, I am only gonna offer the uh, convertible um, top kilns for now. Um, and that's just to keep the cost low. Um, but you know, you really don't have to buy my, my kiln kit. This is, you can totally DIY this. It's fairly simple. It's just a, an inside barrel and an outside barrel, which is on the ground here. I have it off so I can show you the fire tube and how it's made. So basically, your primary air feed will actually feed through this grate, and that'll feed your uh, primary combustion. Now the resulting uh, combustion gases will actually exhaust out these holes. And then also, as this is full, this, this hopper will be full, as the fuel heats up, it'll uh, generate um, paralysis gas. And you'll see later, um, you know, the difference between uh, having this lid on and off, um, how much that uh, affects the, uh, the combustion process. Now you see here, we got holes all the way around in between the shroud barrel fire tube and that is to feed the second stage so as these gases um, are exhausting they'll be really rich but uh, some combustion will uh, you know uh, will flow through the exhaust holes to ignite the, the gas mixed with with uh, the second stage of air and you'll see how the, all that works later so yeah basically you fill it up put the lid back on it and then when the, uh, the, comb the second stage um, combustion process will, will flow up in between this barrel and that barrel heating the, uh, the hopper. <coughs> so as you can see, we have a grate in here, uh, a passive grate. Now when you have a bunch of small pieces in here, they will bind up. They're not just going to drop through there. And so when you uh, when you're processing your fuel, you'll come and shake this grate once in a while, and that'll break everything apart and drop it down. And you see, I just got chains um, that suspend it, and then I got a shaker handle. And that's basically it. So this is uh, the catch barrel, and I'll show you how that goes in there. So what I'm going to do today is uh, this is a 30 gallon trash can. Each catch barrel is 10 gallons a piece. So I'm going to see what um, see what I can yield out of this 30 gallons of fuel. Now I just ran the little M1 here um, to process that fuel with a with a chop saw. Now I get the uh, the slat wood for free. There's a a pellet a pallet manufacturer shipping company just up the road, and they throw away tons of this slat wood for free. Um, so I pretty much have an en endless supply of uh, free wood, and then all I got to do is chop that up with a chop saw. So I probably ran about three gallons worth of charcoal to process that much wood. Um, so that, that is my investment in energy. Um, the rest uh, is basically going to come from the wood for basically free. Okay, so I'm going to put this thing together. And I'm going to use a... Well, we'll see how this one works. i got a little stand here. I'm going to set you guys on. Not like this is scripted or anything. And I'm going by the seat of my pants. All right. Um, all right. So I'm gonna put the uh, proud barrel back on.
All right, so I'm gonna let this g get going. No, the smoke will dissipate once it, once it really takes off. All right, so I'm gonna come back here once it um, really gets established. All right, so that didn't take long. All right, so I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm gonna remove this top. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear the difference there. But I put this back on, all those gases will be forced through the bottom. Those exhaust holes I showed you earlier. All right, well, that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna let it run for probably 15 minutes. I'll shake it down and uh, just keep loading it. And then uh, once that catch barrel is full, I'll swap it out with uh, that one and uh, we'll see what we yield. That's how much I've uh, put in there so far. I've got a bucket ready to dump in there. So, yeah, I mean, this really isn't work. I'm gonna go about my business. I'm gonna go back inside for a while and uh, work on a computer and uh, come back and keep making sure. All right, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes. You can see down in there or not. We're gonna take a look, see where we're at. So she's down quite a bit. And I'm gonna shake it out. All right, so I'm gonna set you guys down in a minute so I can load it. to go and come back in a little bit all right so it's time to swap out the barrels filled it but it'll burn down all right so I'm just gonna leave uh, this one here to the gas you know one thing I should know never ever ever put a clamp on a barrel that is degassing it will explode never ever do that just put the lid on there it's plenty to keep the oxygen out and uh, you know it'll only degas for about five minutes or so and then the smoke will uh, dissipate so I'm gonna finish this off there's a few more pieces left in there I'll chuck those in there and then uh, burn that down and uh, see what we uh, yield all right so we're at the end of the run so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
pull the uh, the last catch barrel um, out and seal it off, and then uh, we'll let it cool down, and then we'll we'll come back and take a peek and uh, um, see what we yielded. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I'm gonna let that degas and cool down, and uh, we'll come back and take a look at what we got. All right, guys. So this is what I have for my net uh, charcoal production out of the 30 30 gallons. So got 10 gallons there, and probably about three three gallons there. So about 13 gallons. But I had a lot of drop throughs because I was trying to rush this through. So I got about five gallons of uh, raw wood yet. So out of the 30 gallons, so if you deduct, uh, we'll say four gallons, we'll say 26. Out of 26 gallons, I got roughly uh, 13, 14 gallons. So that's. Uh, Pretty close to 50% net um, charcoal production. So, and I think uh, we can improve this. Uh, maybe some automation may uh, uh, improve uh, our net output. But uh, you know, time will tell. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. If I can ever uh, get to that point. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching.